everybody welcome back to another vlog i have just been out this morning had some blood tests have a boo boo it's actually like really quick and very painless yeah it's been a fun morning things have actually been very very busy lately in addition to it being a very busy time of the year i decided it was a good idea to try and buy a house so things are just very all over the place at the moment so yeah it's it's been an interesting few weeks but things have basically just gone a little bit crazy so i'm just kind of i've been taking the morning to do the things that i need to do sorry if that makes anyone feel squeamish i kind of find things like this a slight novelty because i don't go to the doctors very often so i'm faffing with my hair it's just been misbehaving a lot recently <laughs> yeah basically just kind of having a little bit of a pottering morning like sorting out things that i really need to sort out like immediately and just doing all the things that kind of need to be done one thing that i am going to take the time to do now because basically i'm going away tomorrow for an overnight stay in yorkshire york yorkshire i feel like it's york and that's what we should call it i think yorkshire is wrong anyway ahead of that i really really wanted to tan so i'm gonna do that now and i'm gonna talk you through it but yeah that is basically what i really need to do right now and then i need to pack for tomorrow and I also need to pop into town and I want to get a few bits. So hopefully we're going to manage to do all of that this afternoon. I can't even cross my fingers. This ring is so big. <laughs> but fingers crossed. Also, this outfit today is really cute. I'm going to show you. By the way, my bed is not made. It looks like I'm being really lazy. I'm just airing it. Does anyone else do that? Is that just me? This is my little outfit today. This is from Lorna's In The Style range. This is part of her new collection. I'm wearing a body underneath because I wasn't sure if I'd have to take my jumper off when I went to the doctor's. This jumper, which is like a really pretty nude colour, and it's got these kind of structured-ish shoulders, which is really interesting. Like nothing else I own is like this. And I don't know, kind of like it. And they've got the leggings, which are the contour leggings, I believe. So I'm basically wearing an all nude outfit this morning. And then my Zara home slippies. I'm aware I need to hoover before anyone tells me, but anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna be changing it out of this now because I need to do my tan. So I'll be right back with you in like two seconds. So, that was really weird. Hello. <laughs> so, step one of fake tanning. This is my like number one rule. Before you start anything, go for a wee. Which is not so important today because I've got a quick dry tan that I'm using. But normally, that is something that you want to get out of the way because there's nothing worse than a pink toilet seat. Just saying. Things you probably wouldn't expect to hear in a tanning video. Moving on. I have prepped done the whole exfoliate, shave. Do you know what? I like to shave like not today, the day after as well. So I kind of did it 24 hours ago and then I'll do it again. Basically I leave a day in between and it stops getting tan in your pores. So exfoliate, shave. So that and my bathroom rule, my top three like tanning prep tips. I'm very excited to tan, I'm not gonna lie, because I've been waiting to film this video to tan, so I've just kind of been itching, I've had the itch, and I'm very, very excited to do this. And lots of you have asked about my tanning routine in the past, and I've kind of put this off and put this off and put this off, because it's kind of an awkward video to film in a way, there's a lot of skin, but I'm gonna do this today. And I'm very excited because lots of you will know I use Bondi Sands Express Tan normally, like I think I've talked about it a ridiculous amount of times. It is without a doubt my most used tan product of all time. And some of you will remember a time when I didn't use to fake tan, I would tan naturally in the summer. And I've got to the point where I don't like to do that so much anymore if I can avoid it. I'm like a huge fan of SPF. I just think it's better for your skin. It's better in terms of like aging. It's good in terms of just like actually being a healthier human being. So I'm a big fan of fake tanning. I got into it last October and I just haven't looked back since. So huge fan of Bondo Sands, huge fan of their Express Tan, like I swear by it. But I'm very excited today because I'm going to be trying out a new tan from them, which is their Bondo Sands Aero Self Tanning Thing Liquid Gold. I'm so excited for this because it is quick dry. What's not to get excited about? I can put clothes on after I use this and it's no rinse off again. So, so excited. You know, you're just in a situation where you're like, you put your tan on, say it's the evening, you've put your tan on, you're all cozy, you're on the sofa and you're all chill and then you know that you need to shower your tan off. This this is just gonna solve all my problems. 
So I'm really excited to try this out today. Thank you so much to Bondi Sands for sponsoring this video because they are obviously my most used tanning brand and this is just a dream, I'm very excited. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about the product and show you how I tan and my top tips for getting a streak-free tan because I'm quite proud of the fact that I've never had a streak. So the Aero Self Tanning Foam Liquid Gold is meant to provide you with the ultimate golden glow. I cannot wait to put this to the test. It's got arginal and jojoba in it to help hydrate your skin and provide a longer lasting tan, which is amazing because the less time I have to spend tanning, the better. Like I said, it's a quick dry formula, so you put your clothes on and go. I cannot wait to test this out today. And it's got a really nice coconutty scent as well. It's also available at Superdrug. So if you do try this out, let me know your thoughts dm me tweet me just mention me on instagram i will find it i would love to know your thoughts on this and how you get on with this but anyway i'm gonna get started let's do this okay so step one hair is going up because i do not want anything interfering with my tan and there's nothing worse than when you've got a bit of hair dangling and you're trying to do your back so i don't know i'll show you how i do my back it's weird weird but effective that could definitely be a slogan for me I've just had a fresh set of tape and extensions put in and they do not like to go upright. So this is actually slightly awkward. But yeah, just tie my hair in a bun, wind it round, and then I just secure it with a silk scrunchie. It just stops my hair breaking. I don't really like to put my hair up where I can avoid it at the moment. So just do it like that. And it's fine. So yeah, that is that out of the way. Also, I am really excited because Bondi Sands not only sent me the tan, but a fresh mitt. I love their mitts. I use them all the time. And I'm just very, very happy because the old one was a little bit grim. And I probably don't want to talk about that anymore. So maybe not. So I give the bottle a good shake. And then I apply about this much. Normally, I would be butt naked doing this, by the way. Lots of you will know from past videos I've mentioned that with my express tan, I basically am butt naked, I do my whole body, and then whilst it's drying, I like clean my flat. Again, butt naked. What a vision for you. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy that uh, mental image that I've now put in your brains. But I'm not gonna be doing that today. Girls, don't have to clean my flat. But yeah, today I'm obviously wearing this bra. This is a kind of cotton thing, I believe from Triangle, which is like, don't even know if they're still in business. But yes, Gims do stuff that's exactly like this. But basically my point is I normally start with my chest, which is obviously slightly harder to do when you have straps on, but we're gonna make this work because I wanna keep this PG and I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate that as well. But yeah, I basically buff my tan on in circular motions. So literally that across my whole body, you cannot go wrong. And I also avoid like, you know, even bumping into little things. If I bump into something, I will do that area of my body again because chances are you've knocked off a little bit of tan. I always bump into like my door frames and stuff like that. And you can actually see that like, sometimes I'll come back and a few hours later, there'll be like a pink mark. It obviously washes off, so not to worry. But basically my point is come into contact with everything as little as possible. So yeah, that is my chest done. I did my shoulders and my boobs as well when you weren't looking. I'm gonna do my arms now. My arms will be easier to show you. So I always do quite a generous amount on my arms and I start from the top and I literally like go down my arm like this and then back up. And I've just found this is the best way to get a really nice streak free application and I try and keep my movements as circular as possible after I've like done it. I basically do it like that so I know I've covered my arm and then buff in in circular motions. And then I always turn to my mirror and I do this in the mirror because there's always like when I normally have a guide color, this you kind of can see the sheen of where you've done it and there's always a patch that I've missed on my elbow here so I always buff that in and then come back up do this bit under my arm. I'm gonna use a little bit more of that. This bit here. And again, just find that you kind of get a little bit of a rough dyed colour, which is good. And then do that bit. Elbows. If you are new to tan, I would always advise to just take your time with this bit. The first time I fake tanned, I think I spent about two hours applying it because I was really not sure what I was doing, but just kind of going very methodically with it. This is actually so much harder to do under studio lights as well because I'm kind of going blind from the lights, but let's hope I did this right. Another tip 
is to always like I move my skin around so I'll buff in like that and then move my skin on my wrist around like that and I'll buff in like that just so you kind of stretch out the skin in like trickier areas and that's like my best way for getting like a more smooth application and a much more natural application because then you don't get lines i'm going to leave my hands i'm going to talk to you about hands in a minute i then move on to my kind of what should you call it the torso tummy lower back that kind of vibe you can see my pile of products behind me but um yeah this is kind of how i like to do my tan on my tummy i start off in a circular motion like this and then i do my sides at this point i would also normally be blending up here as well to make sure that the underneath of my boobs are also covered. You can really see that guy colour on my tummy. You couldn't see that on my chest. Ooh. And then I also, when I'm doing certain sides of me, I switch the hand that I'm using the mitt with. Just because I think you get a better application if you're switching hands. Like this hand does not reach the whole way around the side of me. So I always switch the hand that I'm using the mitt with. So I use my left hand to do the left side of my back and vice versa. And I also use the back of my hand and kind of do the middle of my back. There's a lot of very rogue techniques that go on with me tanning. <laughs> Maybe this is normal. Does everyone else do this? Can you let me know? <laughs> so in an ideal world, I would obviously normally still do this without any bra or without any underwear on, even though it is quick dry, just because I think that you will get a better result. But just for this video, I'm just obviously still wearing these, which is gonna make this slightly more difficult for me, but we're gonna roll with it. But at the moment, my underwear is kind of sat in a certain place and I'm just gonna leave it for a couple of minutes to like, set and then i'm gonna move my underwear up a little bit do my legs just to avoid any shrieking so if you want to wear a bra and like underwear whilst you're tanning as well obviously i would recommend it to be black and i would recommend doing that so like waiting a little bit whilst things just quickly dry and then kind of moving on the great thing about this one is that you don't have to wait very long so i've angled you down a little bit differently now we're going to move on to my legs so <laughs> do this like this this is how i would normally do my tan like this is exactly where i stand when i do my tan i just don't normally talk to you guys but basically i start from my ankle and work my way up to the top of my thigh and then i kind of do my bum as well at the same time and then with the excess that is on my mitt i just run that over my feet and then i also stretch out this part of my legs and make my foot very flat and just the upper part of my heel i'm gonna do my back so as I've been going, I've obviously been doing this side of my back when I did my arms. I did this part, the top part of my back when I was doing my chest and then the lower part of my back when I was doing the lower part of my back. So there is kind of a square, which you won't be able to see because there isn't like a huge, really dark guy color on this tan, but there will be a square on my back. And I know exactly where that square is, which basically has no fake tan on it. So you have two options. What you can do is get someone else to tan your back for you. I always hear stories of people moaning at their boyfriends, dads, everyone's friends to tan their backs for them. I've never done that because I have this, which is basically like a little uh, kind of, I don't know, like a foam thing on a stick where you use it to do your back. Now, this is a very old one and I kind of don't want to show it to you because it's a very funny colour, but this is what I use. So I'm gonna kind of show you me using it and try and not show you the stick too close up because it's gross and I'm aware I'm gross, so let's all move on. So you basically just pop your mousse onto the stick and then I'm gonna see if I can do this without properly looking <laughs> and then use that to do your back. And uh, yeah. This is 100% a necessity. If your need for tanning your back gets you into arguments with your boyfriend, if you are single, which I have been for a very, 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 very long time. Well, obviously not now, but have been. Yeah, this is an absolute essential. This is the definition of independent woman vibes. I can tan my own back, I don't need you. So yeah, that is how I tan my back. But yeah, so my back is done. My chest is dry, my arms are dry. My arms are like so dry. It's not normal for my arms to be this dry when I fake tanned, like after this amount of time. So that's really great. My legs are feeling pretty dry as well. So I actually think this is gonna be a go for putting clothes on and going outside into the world. It's gonna be great. But I'm gonna talk you through doing my hands. What I do is I've already like done my whole body 
with the tan and this mitt still has like some excess tan on it so what i tend to do is just use the excess tan the leftover that is on this mitt and use it to do the palm of my hands so as you can see i really like spend a lot of time buffing it in because your hands are really important you don't want them to be really really orange and really dark and a bit gross but you also don't want them to be a very different color to your body like obviously when i go on holiday people always used to say this to me in videos they'd be like your hands are still lighter than the rest of your body and i'd be like yes that is normal because even when i get a real tan my hands are never the same color as my body you wash your hands like the skin on them is exfoliated so much quicker much like your face so you do generally have lighter hands so i'm not too fussy about having hands that are like super 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 dark but i do like them to kind of just naturally blend so i spend a lot of time doing the palm of my hands and then what i do is just take the excess over my fingers and once again i want to talk about that bending the skin so that you get a good blend so i kind of bend my knuckles and just very very lightly brush the mitt over them not too harsh i don't want to build up a product in the gaps between the skin but i do want a good amount of product over everywhere and i really spend a lot of time doing the sides of my hands as well just to avoid that stark line so i kind of go a little bit over it doesn't tend to take on the palm of my hand ever so i'm quite confident in just like brushing it over like that and i do the sides of my fingers as well if i'm wearing a dark colored nail polish i'm very confident with doing my fingers as well so i do the whole top part of my finger and do them all individually if I have time because I just find that gives the best result. However, if I'm wearing a light coloured nail polish and especially if it's a matte colour, I will be a little bit more reserved with doing this just because I find it does kind of mark it a little bit. I think it like rubs off after like a day or so, but it's just so much less to worry about if you've got a darker nail polish on or a non-matte nail polish. Non-matte nail polish is great because it just slides right off. Yeah, if you are at all concerned about, say you have dry hands or um, tan just tends to cling to your knuckles, your knees, your elbows, anywhere that's particularly dry, what I would say is to put a little bit of moisturizer on those areas after because it just stops the tan clinging to that area. They do it to you when they spray tan you. They actually do it before because I guess they're not disturbing anything any like moisturizer because they kind of go over you in lines but i wouldn't advise doing it before with like a mousse tan because you're gonna then move all of that moisturizer around so do it after and in the beginning i always did that to my knuckles the palms of my hands and also my elbows i don't do it so much now because i've just realized that my elbows aren't as dry as i really thought so i don't worry too much about it i don't have hugely dry skin but for those of you that do it's just a really easy way to kind of get around that yeah and then that is me pretty much done i don't do my face because i just find that it doesn't really cling to my skin very well it lasts maybe like a day and then it's gone and i have quite sensitive skin so i just like to put the least product on it as physically possible and obviously i'm wearing makeup i wear makeup most of the time because i'm filming or taking photos or doing something most days so it's just a lot more convenient for me to just tan my face kind of manually if you will so yeah that is uh my hands done i think so i do those last uh it just means they're kind of the last thing that gets tanned but also it means the inside of my mitt isn't super like filled with like fake tan because it's just have my clean hands through it most of the time and just using that small amount at the end means i can put this hand into it and do this hand without like a lot of fake tan ending up on the inside of the mitt because then that means that you can kind of like avoid having any tan on the palms of your hands as well and i don't ever really have an issue with the palms of my hands which is goals so yeah this is me after application and i'll be back with you a little bit later to kind of show you what this is looking like after about six hours this takes about six hours to develop but it's great because it's like a no rinse one so i can just go about my day which is fab and i don't have to spend three hours naked like i normally would and i don't have to clean my flat yet i'm gonna clean my flat don't worry but yeah i'll be back with you we're in town i have i have clothes on <laughs> i don't know where the h went in half them but I have clothes on. I'm actually wearing my new Lorna Lux in the style trench coat, which is great. And it's probably the first waterproof thing I think I've ever owned in my life. So, girls. Yeah, so we will see how this works out. Hopefully my hands don't get rain marks on them because that would be bad. But yeah, we're gonna find somewhere to go and get some food. 
and then I need to put some bits up, and then I need to go home, and we need to edit this video, and I'm gonna stop talking about this now. I love these shops. They look so nice. I'm in the white company and I just keep losing my shit over everything, especially slippers. I really want these. Also, just completely lost it over these decorations. That's so cute. <gasps> So every year I buy myself a couple of new ones from my company. When I get home I'll show you what I got. That's so cute! Also Lauren wouldn't let me buy this giant star. Because it's giant. <laughs> I want it so much. Look, it would look so cute. Like this. Freestanding in my hallway. Please vote in the comments and let me know if you're okay with it. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> also, I feel like I just need to clarify for everybody. Lauren isn't in charge of my finances. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just really rate her opinion on things. Even when I tell her she's wrong, I still really rate her opinion. And I'm also, <laughs> I would just like to say, not really boring. It's just yeah. that I feel like some of the purchases <laughs> are a bit too much. Some. So, however, this was fine. <laughs> yeah, just never know. It just built up, you know? And then it was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. For that. Okay. Just don't just don't speak too loudly when you write through the till. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren's just standing there like this. We're in the shop and she's just standing there like I just don't want to know. <laughs> there was actually a hand motion in there as well. I feel like it was like just, <laughs> Shopping with you is my favourite. <laughs> this section of Brighton down here, I can't remember it's called like East Street or something like that. I think there's an actual name for all of this, but it's my favourite section to shop in because be all the shops are really nice. Are yeah, they've got all the Christmas lights up at the moment, but they're not on. I don't know if you can see. Can't wait till they're on, it's going to be so cute. <laughs> really outdone myself today wow so i'm home now it's dark that's how long it took me to finish shopping i'm feeling quite sleepy so i'm gonna try and make this quick but i wanted to show you my after so yeah it's been just about six hours i do find that it's like the six hour plus mark or like with my express tan the three hour plus mark where i really start to see like visible differences before then it's like you know your guide color or not your guide color in this case it's after six hours that you really start to see a difference so i think what i will do is check in with you tomorrow and show you like a secondary after like a day two after type thing but yeah this is what we are kind of working with so far it's a really nice like golden color I'm very very happy with this yeah really really nice really nice application not seeing any issues really anywhere so yeah i would put my before and after over the screen right now but yeah like i said i'll check in with you tomorrow because i have to be up very very early so i actually need to go to bed fairly quickly tonight so i'm not gonna have a lot more time to like let this develop and be on camera because i need to be asleep so i will check in with you tomorrow i think maybe once i get to york or in the morning if i can and show you the rest of my tan but so far so good like i put my clothes on i went out and i'm not even joking like i was quite warm when i was out because i was wearing like a knitted jumper and then a trench coat and i was not sure that this would be okay but it does what it says on the tin so i'm very very happy this has definitely opened up a whole new world of tanning options for me i can't actually stop looking at the tan i literally look so glowy i'm actually really happy with this yeah, so I'm gonna stop being so naked right now and I'll see you again in the morning.
So we've arrived in York and uh, I was just changing in front of Lauren, as I do. And she actually said she thinks this is the brownest she's ever seen me. So yeah, that is my little tan update for today. Very happy with it. Literally, like, it's just no streaks, no nothing. I'm very happy. So yeah, my tummy especially is very brown. So yeah, give this a thumbs up and I'll stop talking about my tan now. And I'll show you the light in the light over here because it's like daylight. But yeah. There we go. P.S. I probably sound really groggy because I've been up since 6am and I didn't really sleep, so. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. I just thought I would check in with you. I've just been to the gym. I'll insert a little bit of a clip of that here. Did something new. It was pretty cool. I thought I'd just check in with you and kind of bring you along with me today uh, before I end this vlog. Tan's looking good. Very good. We're about to go for brunch and I am super, super shaky because I've just done a double workout. So do excuse, I'm literally like all over the place. I need to go for lunch before I pass out basically. Ryan is waiting for me in the car, so hence my slight rush. But I'm gonna show you what I picked up at All Saints earlier this week. I'm gonna be wearing it anyway. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna show you the beauty stuff in another video because I just don't think I'm gonna have time. This angle's horrible, sorry. I'm just trying my shoes on whilst talking to you. <laughs> This isn't the way vlogging will be all the time. Don't worry if you're new. So I'll show you the beauty stuff in a different vlog, but I thought I'd show you what I picked up at All Saints. I got a coat, which I'm super, super happy with. I've been wanting like a really long black coat for a while, and this one's perfect. Look at this. Oh, you can't see it super well because the light is awful. The weather in the UK at the moment is disgusting. Yeah, so you can see it's got little lapels, nothing crazy. And then we've got three buttons down both sides it's nice and long like perfect length on me and I've just tied well Ryan tied this little bow at the back which is sticking out and definitely needs sorting but just trying to keep the tie off the ground because obviously I'm that much lower to the ground than everybody else I think I'll fold it and put it in my pocket because it's just really offending me <laughs> But yeah, this is the coat. I will link it if you are interested in it. It was very expensive, but it's really beautiful. And I just know that I'll have it in my wardrobe forever. Like the fit is perfect. I got it in a size medium, if anyone's wondering, so that I can wear jumpers underneath it. Like big chunky jumpers. Yeah, and then I got this scarf, which I am in love with. And I'm not too much of a scarf person. I really used to be, but not so much anymore. Um, but I like this one because you can kind of just like throw it over. You don't have to wrap it, but you could if you wanted to. <laughs> but yeah, I mostly just like having scarves and like having them like this. And I just love that it's got like writing all over it. I think it's really cool. So that is it. Goes really nicely with the coat. It's very warm and snuggly. I'm gonna go for brunch now before I collapse and die. Be back in a Let's get pancakes to share, he said. My pancakes. Also, there is the cutest dog in here, and uh, I like nearly cried at it like six times. It's gonna taste pretty good, so. I don't know, this is me shrugging, if anyone's wondering what that is. So, yeah, this wouldn't really wrap or fold, so I'm just gonna leave it. Hello, everybody. It's a little bit later. I am about to do a face mask and get in the shower, and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm on my own tonight, so I'm probably gonna watch like some nature documentaries in bed and just really chill yeah proper like chill try and sleep because i haven't been sleeping very well recently and yeah just try and have some like then time i just finished the new season of american horror story and it was so good so yeah i probably should watch nature documentaries and no more horror stuff uh for the rest of the evening but yeah i'm gonna do a face mask now 
and swap my skin out. I think I'm gonna do like a charcoal -y detox mask to cleanse and then maybe add something hydrating in there. Yeah, and then do some spot stuff because I've got this huge lump on the side of my head. It doesn't look huge, but it feels massive. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm feeling super achy, so I just wanna get in the shower, get into bed. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry it's been a bit all over the place this week. In all honesty, I have been a bit all over the place this week. So yeah, I go from just feeling like 100% to zero in about 2.5 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a fun week. I hope you're all having the best day and you've enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.